Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the South Sudan. So, we are going to war with, well, our original country's namesake, Sudan itself. Uh, you'll notice a couple changes um, in, in regards to what's going on here. Um, our units have been, well, changed out. Um... That's pretty much the only thing you guys might actually notice is a difference. Um, how to save game corruption. So I had to kind of start from a new this morning real quick before I did my recording and basically spawned in a bunch of uh, units that were almost the same. I just couldn't find all the ammo one. Like I figured I just, you know, some units that were close enough and basically went around and invaded all our territories around us. So here we are. We're back in the situation where we have just finished taking out Yurita, which was right here. And now, we're going after Sudan. So I realize there should be three major prongs to our attack when we go to invade Sudan. Uh, that'll be the big western push, or eastern push from here. Uh, the southeastern push from down here, which, would come, which is going to basically come up the Nile here. And then this push here, which is going to go through the oil uh, oil fields like we did initially in our playthrough. Um, only changes really that's occurred is there was a North and South Korean War. Um, Korea is, uh, or all, all of Korea is now solidified into South Korea. Other than that, no real changes. We do have more aircraft now. Um, actually that reminds me. Boom. Um, we still have a warship over here that's retardedly out of fuel. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything's pretty much else the same. So here we go. Order in our units. Now you notice I'm doing a little bit more of a, just a mass wall assault than I normally do. And normally I'll um, actually have like all my defensive lines all designed and positioned and all that stuff. I realize for, for Sudan, most of the fun is going to happen in here. So I really don't have to worry too much about defensive lines as much. Actually, let's go up to uh, fast. Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about defensive lines, especially since everything's all, well, pretty much open. It's all, like, sub-Sahara. So. Well, they're really, whoa, they pushed, they, they, wow, okay. I was not expecting that. They're pushing everywhere but here. Interesting. So the plan was to use these guys as almost like a feint to make them think this was our major push down here. And it actually looks like it may have mostly worked, actually. All they got to do is just basically go across the plains here in Africa and get to uh, the capital. Our air force is engaging. We shouldn't have really supply problems. They might have a little bit of supply issues. But our primary thrust down the Nile Delta here is working. I feel the planes down in Africa. Oh, Toto. Where would I be without you, sir? Looks like they pushed in a little bit here, which I'm not too worried about. These guys are going to push on the other side of the Nile. You. Actually, you. Oh, no, they're all transport aircraft. And yeah, they're just going to hold there. So this is where, like I keep saying, our, our, our primary push is going to be. This will cut those guys off, no problem. Check our supply real quick. Our supply is getting a little stretched out. Oh, that's caps lock. Let's push these guys forward. I'm getting a bit of a flu, so I do apologize in advance if this is yet another quick little video. 
Uh, girlfriend got the flu and she gave it to me, so. That's love for you. Let's bring some armor up this way, shall we? Let's bring all these guys up. All these guys are going here, and they're just going to wipe out those. There we go. They can hold that off pretty good. In the meantime, these guys are just going to keep... Just keep pushing. You figure playing, like the AI at this point would realize what I'm doing, but nope. We are playing on normal. I think the military AI in this game does need a little bit of tweaking. Because sometimes it lets you do things that are A little, we'll say, expletive. Move those guys up over there. Looks like the majority of the fighting has now gone towards the capital. Let's see if these guys can move up and capture this location here. Yep. These guys are just going to keep pushing forward. Yeah, I'm a little surprised the AI is actually letting me get away with all this. Let's just push right into the capital. Let's bring these guys in for reserves. Let these guys go right across the... No, we got the capital. Should be too long actually till they surrender. Oh no, they moved their capital away over there. Okay. No big deal. One of the bonuses of having so many units. Some of these ones we're going to just move across the, uh, the Nile. The rest of them are all going to keep moving up this way. Airborne units. Well, these guys are probably pushed right up to that town up there. Okay, there, this guy down here. 75%. Shouldn't take too long for our units to move on to their second capital, so... Uh, 
of these guys can move up this way. Nope, there we go. Cut that guy that was cutting across. 76. Yeah, have them push over to this town. Boom. I have them hold that for a little while. In the meantime, bring these warships that we have up. Ground units. Keep moving up, please. Military supply depot there and there. And you know what? Well, the barracks as well. Won't take too long to build those. Only, what, 30 days or so? Research breakthrough. That's our declaration of war on Sudan. Yeah, I have them push up. It wasn't like there's much here to fight, mostly garrison troops and anti aircraft weaponry. And they've captured that town too. Perfect. Okay. Help these guys move down. Perfect. That town's collected. 63%? Yeah, 63 should be good enough. Uh, yeah, since there's only a merchant marine in the town. Tuh. Uh, boom! And there we go. We got Sudan. So now over the... Uh, in between the next two episodes, what I'm going to be doing is uh, just kind of building up our infrastructure a little bit. Um, actually, over the next few episodes, uh, basically we're going to get things back to status quo, make sure everything's good economically, and then we'll make a decision as to if we keep going up the coast, so take on Egypt, and then head south, take on uh, maybe Mozambique. Uh, let's bring up the ownership here. Yeah, head south maybe, take on Mozambique. That opens up South America, or South Africa. Um, now that we have warships, we might be able to even make a move on Madagascar. Even jump across the Red Sea, maybe, and go after Saudi Arabia and all the oil. Um, even go after Yemen. Um, I think the plan, though, is to keep, stay within Africa first, right? So kind of leave Asia or Asia Minor alone. Um, I'm thinking maybe expand west, or not, not expand west, but keep going north-south. Uh, maybe since the majority of our forces are in the north here, to continue pushing up this way, take on um, take on Egypt, capture the uh, the Suez, and then hit Libya, swing south, hit Chad, then Central African Republic, then uh, the Congo, then Zambia, then this little ranking country of Mali, or Malawi. And then uh, hit Mozambique. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.